In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how to replace one particle with another in succession. We're going to be using the particle designer in this particular tutorial. I have here a mock-up of a commercial. I'm going to play a few seconds for it. And you can see that it works pretty good, but it doesn't give me everything I want. Now I don't see any fruit. I see the pastry, but I don't see fruit. But we'd like to use a particle designer to add that. What we're going to do is add more than one, but we're not going to mix them so people can see sequentially the different kinds of fruits our bakery is going to include in this special promotion. So I need to get to my particle designer. To do that, I can click on the spray of dots, the fourth icon down on the left, or I can press the F6 key. That will take me to a pre-designed set of particles. We're going to build our own in this particular example. So to do that, I'm going to move up to the top. I have a rectangle with a folded edge over the upper right, and on the lower right, I have a plus sign. We'll click on that to add our own particle. Now immediately, that will open two screens. It opens the particle designer, and then it goes to this default location to find the particles that you have. Now most of what you see here will be the particles that come with CyberLink PowerDirector, but you can add your own. I've done that and you can simply download any particle or create any particle you want to. And then you can add it to this location. The other option you have is you can, once you're in this screen, you can go anywhere in your file system to find a different image to use for the particle. I have one called with a strawberry and I also imported one with a raspberry. So let's start out with the strawberry and then click on open. Now that opens it with default parameters in my particle designer. What I'm going to do is take this one and move it and I'm going to rotate it to the right and then narrow it a bit and then we're going to move it down. This is about where I want it to appear from in my example. Now I'm going to click on the OK button. So we'll start with this and we'll save this. I'll just call this test and press enter. I watch it working on the screen. Now I'm going to take my test and drag it down to track number two and I'm going to lengthen it for the duration of my clip. Now when I play this, you'll see the difference. But what I want to do is bring in more than one fruit, but I have so many and I can change the number using some of the tools inside the particle designer, but I want it to be sequential. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shorten it a little bit and then we're going to go back into the particle designer by double clicking on that. Now my first particle is strawberries. The second one Let's make add a new particle. Easiest way to do that is click on the image of the spray of dots or the particle above the preview screen and then pick another one. To stay in our theme, I'm going to pick the raspberry here. And now what it will do, it will just make a kind of a mess here because it adds the raspberries to the strawberries. I'm going to go horizontal as well. And I'll have it start about the same place and I'll have it spray about the same width here. We don't want to get too much up into our hometown bakery. Now if I play this right now, all you'll see is kind of a jumble of strawberries and raspberries. That's not what I want to do. If I play it, it looks a little bit cluttered. What I'd like to do is change that. So what I'm going to do is go into the particle designer, into the keyframing underneath, and I'm going to drag the second particle and shorten it. And now we'll see the strawberries start and then the raspberries will begin, but I don't want them mixing so much. I'll, I'll take a little bit of overlap, so I'm going to shorten the first track 
and have them overlaid. I'm not quite where I want, but I want to play a little bit of this so you can see something of what's going on here. We'll play from this segment on. So we have raspberries and then it turns into strawberries. But one thing I'd like to do is I'd like to change a little bit about how the strawberries come in. So I'm going to look at my last control on the left side which is called fades. You have emitter fade and particle fade in and out. Now the emitter controls the fading in and out. It's this dark blue area of every single particle at once. When you have this turned on you can control them all together. Particle fade is where they just are controlled by the particular particle style and emit methods up here that we cover in another tutorial. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the emitter fade in for the raspberries on track number two. I'm going to turn off the particle fade in. What that will do is that will make them appear faster on the screen so I have a better bit of an overlap between where the strawberries start and the raspberries uh, begin following the strawberries. So we'll back up a few frames and play this and you'll see a difference. Now it's a little bit blank for a while so I think I'm also going to increase the number the time that the strawberries are on the screen. Maybe a little bit back for the raspberries. You'll have to adjust this as you see fit. But you notice I no longer have that dark blue area of uh, fade control because I've turned these off only for my second option. But those are some ways you could do this. And if I wanted to show in sequence several different fruits, I'd add another track perhaps uh, with, with blueberries, another one for uh, another kind of fruit that we're using in our promotion. But the end result is really interesting and creative. So I'll click on OK and then we'll play a segment of the finished one for you full screen. <laughs> 